Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making Easter wreath using a new to me method. I saw this done by Damon Oates at Deco Exchange and I was like, hmm, that seems suspicious to me, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And it's a, it's a little different, so get your pens and pencils and calculators and abacuses and protractors and compasses and whatever else you use to do math. So this is my standard wiring, two in each section on the outside, one in the middle, 18 total, 12 on the outside, six in the middle. My mesh is cut at 10 inches and 20 inches. There are 24 10 inch pieces and six 20 inch pieces. So it's gonna be curls on the outside, ruffles on the inside, and this only uses one roll of mesh, which is why I wanted to, you know, get into it. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so my problem that I ran into was that I get all the way around this and I only have 23 curls. Uh, I don't know where that last curl went. I didn't like lose it. It wasn't on the floor. It didn't fall behind the table. All my 20 inch pieces are cut at 19, so I should have had more than enough to get 24 10 inch cuts, but I didn't. So I replaced the missing one with just a piece of poly jute that was cut at 10 inches. You can't tell the difference. There's so much stuff on this wreath in the end. So if you're going to do this, cut carefully. Pay attention. You know, I mean, I think if I if I do this again, which I would like to, I think I'm going to have to go down to 18 inches for my ruffles just to make sure that I have enough curls. But in the end, even though I was missing one, it didn't really matter because you can't see it, you know? Like we put the pretty mesh on there and then, you know, we cover it all up, so... And this is about the fifth time I'm doing this voiceover because a giant firework went off. Even though it is like Tuesday afternoon, the 6th of January. Like, why are you shooting fireworks in the day? Shut up. We're over it. See, when I saw Damon do this, I was like, wait, what if he, he's only using one roll of mesh? Um... But, I wanted to try it because it was one roll of mesh, so obviously I could make two rolls, you know, I usually use two rolls, that means I can make an extra wreath. And this is when I realized I don't have the other roll. Um, it was also flatter, it wasn't as huge as my wreaths have been as of late, because they have been really big. Like, do I need to order bigger boxes big? So now I am ruffling up my ruffles. These are again, should be able to cut them at, tw at 20 inches. I cut mine at 19, it still wasn't enough. Um, I think the roll was maybe just short, That's that happens. It happens. But I mean, as you can see, as soon as I'm putting these ruffles in, like this is really filling out. And this was a little more cutting than I normally do. Like, normally I'm just like, you know, let me zip through this, cut them all at 20 inches, figure out what I'm going to do afterwards. But I really, uh, I really did like this. And it was, it was, it was fun to do something different because I never do curls because they're just, they never came out right. But yeah, I kept my, kept my, uh, my cut sides down. Oh, and when you're doing this, cut the 20 inch pieces first because the mesh closer to the cardboard tube is going to be tighter, so it's going to make better curls. So I'm still just like, I don't know what's going on, but I end up saying I'm going to put my sign where the missing curl is. Which, I don't even know if I ended up doing that. I guess we'll see. Maybe. No, because you're not going to be able to tell where it's at. Alright, so my sign is all stapled up. Just stapled into the back of it. I think that sign was from Michael's. Um, this is a couple of different ribbons. 
Let's see once I get them in order. That's Craft Outlet, Joann's, Michael's, Craft Outlet, Craft Outlet, Craft Outlet. The pink polka dot is Michael's. The um, burlapy natural colored one was from Joann's at Hall. And I am not following any particular recipe here. I don't care if there's a two inch ribbon in front of a one and a half. Like, I don't care about that. I just, I'm going to, I'm going to separate these. So they look in a way that makes them look the best for me. And this is a funky bow. It is a six inch. I think this is actually an eight inch. It's an eight inch tail, six inch loop. These are currently my favorite bows because, uh, yeah, they're just really easy to do. And if you do the tails at six inches, you're only using 24 inches of ribbon per bow. So you could put little scraps into, you know, if you have a scrap of something that's only two feet, you can include that in a bow. I like this little Swiss dot. So this is another green with um, like an aqua micro dot in glitter. So that's my bow and um, I'm going to make two more because I'm really into this covering half the wreath with those thing. And now I'm on the phone with Michelle. See, I really like this method uh, for the mesh. I like the, I like the bows. Um, and this ended up being, I think, my favorite um, my favorite Easter wreath I've made so far. Just because it's very bright, it's fun, it's, it's, you know, colorful. And I need a little bit of, I need a little bit of cheeriness in my life lately. We all do, don't we? So yeah, this entire conversation I'm having with Michelle is pretty much just her screaming at her kids for losing the remote control to the TV. And I was like, you have a TV? What is it, 1947? I wish I had a TV. Oh, I was struggling with the ribbon there for a second. I really like this ribbon too. It's such a pretty, uh, a mix between like an olive and the lime and it's like a dark olive. And I love that Joanne's ribbon. It's such a nice quality. I mean, it's overpriced, but um, it's a nice quality. All right, so pick that up, put your pipe cleaner in. Squeeze it, turn the bow. I've been having really good luck with pipe cleaners. Y'all remember when my pipe cleaners used to break all the time? I've been doing better. I don't know how. It's just something worked out. Maybe it's these pipe cleaners from Walmart. I just need to keep buying these. And to fluff this bow, you're going to have a loop on one side, tails on the other. Just pull the tails apart, fluff the loop up, move on. Because all the loops are the same size. Uh, you don't have to worry about like moving things around. Like if you can't make a bow, or if you have trouble making bows, like this is this is one that you could definitely, I feel like everybody should be able to make. And if you go to Julie Samako, she's Southern Charm Reese. She also makes them by hand. Um, if you don't have a bow maker, you don't want to buy a bow maker, but I can't hold things, so. The bow maker is a necessity. And now I am deciding what I want my tails to be. I'm going with 12 inches this time because I was running out of this ribbon that I'm using right now. 
and I wanted to make sure that I had enough to cut the tails for this wreath and enough to add the ribbon to another bow for a different wreath. So those are cut at 12. I think I am cutting eight of them. Hmm. I don't know, and then I'm pairing it with, I just counted, but it was too fast. We'll see how many of these I got. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I must have cut eight. Now I'm cutting four of the green. I'm gonna dovetail those. And then maybe the micro dot is the other one, I think. I'm like, hmm, what do I wanna use? What do I wanna use? Oh no, okay. I was probably trying to ration that that green and blue one because I really like that. Cleaning up as I go. I need to move that bow maker. That glare on there is crazy. Move it. There we go. Alright, getting myself sorted out here. This is all sped through in the long version because Michelle was a wah 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 wah. I am feeding my pipe cleaners through, which was easy because there wasn't seven pounds of mesh on this wreath. Yeah, I don't know when I got this sign. I think I was looking back for my videos, and at some point I went to Michael's after Easter and picked this up. And I think I do add another pipe cleaner to the other corner with that horrible staple gun I have. I got a new staple gun today, guys. It's like the power shot one where you don't have to squeeze with your entire body. And I'm super excited about using it. I'm like, I need to go staple things. In goes the first bow. The next one goes so the tails from the first bow overlap the loops of the second bow by like an inch maybe like they're pretty close together but the bows are six inches so they're you know they're a decent size See, I think I do end up cutting a lot of these tails down because they're, they're kind of wild. Um, that's why I started after this wreath, started to um, use six inch tails when I was making the bows. Just because if there's one thing I hate, it's, it's wasting ribbon. So normally I would not be trimming all these right now. Like I'd probably, I like to do this afterwards, like after everything's done to find out if like, see the, the tail hanging over the cotton tail part of the sign. Like obviously that one needs to be cut a little shorter and I'm not, I'm not trying to get everyone the same length. I'm trying to make them work for the wreath. So like if there's a really long one and it needs to be taken up some to show off something else, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm just, I was just talking to Michelle and I was just like, you know, listening to her complain, I was complaining. So the camera kept rolling. I really love that metallic green. It's just, it's, it's catching the, the light so nicely.
and then we're going through and just making sure everything is fluffed. The back is a mess. That middle bow looks a little low. I don't know if I fixed that or not. Did I fix it? Maybe. So I'm going to pair the the pink polka dot with the blue and the green. Um, with the metallic green and that other stripe. And I'm only putting it in the bottom row. And then I'm going to use the extra ones to fill in around the sign because I see no point in putting ribbon tails behind all those bows. Oh, but wait, here's a giant egg. Are we doing that now? Or is it the game? No, okay. So I'm folding these in half, pinching them, putting them in, cutting them off. Oh, spreading them out, sorry, that too. And I am, I am so back and forth between, do I want the 12 inch, do I want the 14 inch? I think I want 13 inches, but I don't have a 13 inch something. I don't have a 13 inch template, and I'm not buying one. And I'm also apparently not making one, because I probably would have done that already, but I'm sure I can figure out something around here to find a piece of cardboard somewhere. So while I'm doing this, I just want to remind you guys, if you want to buy this wreath, it should be listed below on Etsy. If it's not there, that means somebody else already snagged it before you. But um, there's plenty of other wreaths in my Etsy, which is also linked down below. And if you want to join me on Patreon for some exclusive behind the scenes things, um, you can come join me there for $5 a month, I think. Patreon's crazy. They're like, you need to charge people $100 to interact with you. And I was like, um, no, I'm good. Like, I'm not worth $100. <laughs> Every time I said something, they were like, no, 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 no. You need to charge more. And I was like, okay, I'm not Beyonce yet. Um, but yeah, it's $5. You'll get access to, like, you know, full-size version of the pictures, behind-the-scenes little videos. Sometimes I go back and tweak a wreath before I after I take the pictures, but before I post the video, you know, like, after the video is done, I'll tweak something. So, like, I recorded a little video of me adding some more to a wreath that I felt fell a little flat. Um, you know, we'll, ju we'll just have a, it'll be just like a community place where we can all talk and hang out. I'm trying to figure out live streaming. So yeah, if you want to join Patreon, that's there. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is also down below. And what else is down there? I don't know. All that good stuff. But yeah, somebody buy this wreath. It's so cute. I want to keep it. I like. I, I was looking at it. And it was hanging on my um my door in my kitchen, and I was like, that's cute. And I was like, that's not cute enough for my. house. It's like too cute for my house, though. And I'm actually a little surprised that my Christmas wreath that I hung up outside is still there and hasn't been stolen. Oh, but tomorrow's the 6th, so that comes down tomorrow. I have that to look forward to, is taking down all the Christmas stuff. Alright, I was like one shy for some reason. So, I cut another... Where is this one going? Over there? Okay. Yes, yeah, see, I think I did at some point pull that middle bow out a little bit more because it was a little close. Why? Well, I don't know why I didn't do this while I was putting the things in. Like, I don't work efficiently all the time because. Ideally, when I put the mesh in, I would put the mesh in, put the ribbon tails in, clip the clip the pipe cleaners, but that doesn't make for a um, that doesn't make for a very good video because like you see it come together and then I do one last thing and it's all done. Like I'd rather see you 
step by step how it actually comes together instead of me being efficient and the thought of sitting down and having to cut out all this stuff beforehand is just that doesn't seem like a lot of fun to me well if I didn't pull it before I just did so here we go spreading things out which means the egg must be coming back I realize I've made this wreath like three times like three different in three different signs and colors and they all have this giant egg in them it's like okay I need to uh, stretch my stretch my creative muscles here a little bit so yeah that was at Walmart last year um, I think I got them for like 20 20 cents or something like that And I have apparently left the building. Where am I? Where did I go? I was actually getting stuff for the wreath. Look at that. Are y'all weirded out that I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt? I had nothing else to wear. Alright, so these are some picks that I got from Craft Outlet. I'm trying to decide what I want to end up going with these kind of, um... I think they're supposed to be like pussy willows, but they're multicolor because the uh, like the little balls on there are fuzzy. And I'm just going to put those on either side of my bows just to add a little bit more movement. And a little more interest and a little more color. As if this wreath did not have enough color in it. And I think my other two, one's gonna go behind the bow and then one's gonna come like on top of the sign. Yeah. Whenever you get these, make sure you always spread them out and they're all wired, so make them do what you want. Don't just stick it in the wreath. You see that one's right on top of the sign. And I can kind of, because it's wired, I can kind of turn, turn it and twist it around. Then I can stick my hands in some very hot glue. And here come the carrots again if you guys find these at Dollar Tree this year they're selling them in a four pack instead of six they still have the six packs but the four pack is a dollar so they're 25 cents each now um, and they're the same size and everything so if you see them buy the six packs because I'm sure next year there's not gonna be any six packs they are all gonna be four packs Charging me a quarter per Krabby Carrot. I was like, you kidding me, Dollar Tree? So I'm using these to cover up the pipe cleaners and to just kind of spread around. I have to only use one pack. Oh, this is when I decide to do the genius move. If the wreath is completely finished, let me try to turn it over and put another uh, pipe cleaner on it. Which I do, and I yell, and I scream, because I have to squeeze this a bunch of times, because it does not catch. And yeah, I'm smashing all the bows, and I'm smashing everything I just put on there. But I wanted this to be a little bit more secure. 
which I think it was fine before, it's just, now it's extra fine. And see, that's one roll of mesh, and this is a big wreath, it's just not as... I mean, you can see when it's turned like that, you can see that the side with the mesh that doesn't have all the extra bows on it and everything, it's flatter. Giving it a final fluff here. I love this wreath. I'm also very tired, sorry. Oh, it's so cute. So if you want it, click in the description. It's in Etsy. It's on Etsy. It should be on Etsy. If not, somebody beat you to it. I sold a wreath yesterday. That was not even... The video hasn't even been posted yet, and somebody sniped it. And I was like, okay, well, you go. That's your wreath. And these are the glamour shots. So pretty. I love this wreath. I love the green, I love the egg, I love the carrots, I just, I love the sun, I love everything about it. This is definitely my favorite. So, thanks for watching. Check out all the the links in the description down below. Uh, long version is coming tomorrow at 7am if you want to hear me talk for like two hours about random crap. I don't know what I'm talking about. A lot of stuff nobody probably cares about. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.